Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on income elasticity of demand. So what is income elasticity of demand? So income elasticity of demand or YED as we sometimes call it is defined as how responsive demand is to a change in income. So how much demand will change when income changes and by income I'm referring to the amount of money that individuals households and families are getting in their income. So income elasticity of demand is how much demand changes when there is a change in income and just like all the other elasticities we can work this out mathematically using a formula. So YED or income elasticity of demand Y meaning income YED equals percentage change in quantity demanded how much demand changes divided by percentage change in income, how much the income changes. But if we were to work out our income elasticity of demand of a good, what is the number that we actually get mean? Well, with price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply, we looked at the number we got, not at the symbol in front of the number, not at the plus or the minus in front of it. But with income elasticity of demand, this is the opposite way around. We look at the symbol instead of the number. So if my income elasticity of demand number were to be positive, this means that the good I'm examining is a normal good. And a normal good is one when income increases, demand for this good will increase. So it will be, it will be something like computers. When everybody's income increases, they might think, oh, I'm going to go and buy a new computer now with all this extra money I have. So therefore the demand for computers will increase. And this is shown by a positive income elasticity of demand. Normal good, when income rises, demand rises. However, if my income elasticity of demand number is negative, the good that I'm examining is an inferior good. And now an inferior good is the opposite of a normal good. So when income decreases, demand will rise. So if the amount of money people are getting in falls, demand for this good will rise. And this is something like Tesco value food. If incomes are falling, so people aren't getting as much money in, they're becoming poorer essentially, they have to start buying budget food or Tesco value food. So Tesco value food would, ha would have a, a negative income elasticity of demand number. So inferior good when income falls demand increases and this works the other way around as well so if income rises demand would fall so as incomes rise people get more money in and they become richer they will start shopping at places like M&S and Waitrose so therefore the demand for Tesco value food will go down 